Hello, Rick Green 7, welcome back to Combat Mission Battle for Normandy as we continue our prelude on the Sen mission. And we're heading into the closing stages as we just try and root out the last of a German defence around Bois-Jerome saint -Un. I probably butchered that, but there we go. Um, we have been going relatively well, although in the latter episode or so, our kind of left flank has become a little bit unstuck lacking the real kind of heavy support to try and dig out the German defences. Um, we've only got one kind of brain carrier as any any kind of quote-unquote armoured support. Our Cromwell and our other brain carriers having been knocked out. So they're they're a little bit stymied at the minute. We have got some uh, more or our howitzers, I believe, coming in on this position, which we're looking for spotting. So hopefully that's going to be in the not-too-distant future. And on the other side of the map, we are making far better progress, kind of pushing our way through the middle, um, although not without casualties, and we are hopefully starting to unlock this right-hand flank here. So I'm keen on this one to try and uh, kind of smash through these defenders in relatively short order, so we can start pushing in with our scout cars and our other Cromwell uh, to try and put pressure on the defenders in the middle and on this left flank. The one area which uh, caused a little bit of upset towards the last turn was a counterattack from the Germans, which I don't tend to see very often. Um, so we have got uh, so some infantry here pushing in, and we have uh, we kind of essentially broken. I think we've killed half a section or so, um, and we've, we've shaken this one. So we're trying to mount enough of a defence to to uh, show them the error of their ways. Now I was t tempted to push in onto the Germans in this garden in this minute with um, this elements of a section, but given that they can actually see these Germans, I'm going to clear their current orders. Uh, so they can help us suppress these infantry here. And that's what we'll do. So we'll crack on with the first minute. We'll see how we go. We should hopefully be uh, softening up the Germans in these positions. Um, and then we'll, we'll talk about where we move forward from here. I feel I'm feeling a little exposed with my armoured elements here because it was definitely a Panzerfaust aimed at the side of that Cromwell. Um, potentially one aimed at the scout car as well. So we might just be doing enough to keep them, but that's definitely it was a, a risk here. One we needed as our infantry uh, has started to melt in the centre here. Oh, that's uh, dangerous. Looks like they've got another, potentially another light tank. We'll have to see where he turns up. But there's a lot of spotting going on here right now. Right, we'll go back and have a look at this album in just one moment. Okay, a quick view through replay, and there's like, three things worth um, discussing. First was it on this side. It wasn't actually a Panzer Faust that attacked our scout car. It was a full-on Panzer Shrek. Um, which it might be hard to see, but... He, thankfully he misses, just flies high and you can see the explosion there. And then shortly after, our scout car does make the full-on spot of said individual. There he is. Trying to reload. Thankfully we can answer with our... I uh, remember if this is the 40 mil or what uh, gun we've got in the front there. It's managed to suppress him. It falls up with small arm fire and that, thankfully... One dead German Panzerschreck. Something we need to be aware of. And speaking of German Panzerschreck, so as I fly around the map towards the central view here, um, we're aware we're putting suppressive fire in on this garden. We'd obviously lost a couple of pixel trooping already, and there seemed to be at least one MG element, one HQ element, and we weren't sure what else was in here. There was a bunch of sound contacts running away towards the end of the minute. And just at the very tail end, we get ourselves of an action, another Panzerschreck. A gentleman. Uh, so my, my plan for next minute is going to have this brain carrier move away from his area target, which was trying to suppress whatever HQ team was here, um, to move in on that chap. So hopefully we can take him out so he's not a danger going forward. And then the other thing to mention was our friends in this building. Oh, just a bit excessive come there, who has caused us lots and lots and lots and lots of problems. Have finally given up. So a couple of them have died. Um, and then the last guy has surrendered. So good job but from our brain carrier there eventually. So I'll probably send my engineer back in. Um, he doesn't actually have any 
doesn't have any, what you call it, charges. So um, we may stick his head out first just to make sure there's no one else lurking in this garden. Uh, and then we can send our team in. And here was a backup team on the way, actually. I'll probably send them into this first story just to provide some eyes. And then we can send them into that building to uh, take that prisoner and eradicate that as a threat. Um, and then the uh, last thing was this, this light, uh, well, assuming to be another light tank. Looks like he's going to be just in this position here. In fact, we can go into done because nothing else needs to see in the replay. Um, so it's a slight worrying. Glad we've cleared our flank of our immediate threat on our flank. We are certainly not going to be able to get away before we spot anything. So I think what I'm just going to have um, this scout card do. I don't even know if I want to move him, actually. I think I'm just going to face him at that corner, hoping whatever comes around he just puts a 37 mil AP in and here's hoping that's enough to get the job done. Meanwhile, we'll get our Cromwell to clear his light target order uh, and to similarly face in this direction there. I don't know how good a line of sight he's going to have from the trees. Oh, perfect. Right. So he should turn around and take care of what is. I'm a little concerned there's some infantry left in here that may, um, you know, use some close range anti-tank weapons on him. But, uh, but um, that's kind of going to have to... That'd be a risk I take, I think, at this point. And yeah, I'll probably I need to think of what I'm gonna do with this uh, scout car. Again, I think I want to try and maybe take a wider berth. Don't I don't want to get too close to these houses, given that I haven't cleared them. I don't have infantry support, but be on that. I'm good, right? So I'll I'll set up those other bits and pieces that I talked about. Uh, make sure everyone else is fine and dandy. I am going to start pushing some infantry towards this centre building. We were suppressing a HMG position. Um, it's been quiet for a couple of turns. I'm a little leery. There's a large open ground here. We might get caught in, but uh, I think we're going to have to try and at least make a move to get some infantry a bit closer. So we're going to kick that off next minute as well. So I'll go away. I will put those orders in and then we'll come back for the next one and we'll see what happens with this uh, light tank. Okay, let's kick things off and see what happens. Our uninvited visitor over here. I was going to say, worst case, the tank takes out our scout car and he gets taken out by infantry. Oh, it's not a tank. Okay. Right, we're going to go back and right, even before we continue, let's go back and watch that. So this was, ah, uh, uh, yeah, an accepted risk and one I just uh, shouldn't have taken from being so close to infantry, especially after the warning shot last time. But I was more concerned about the tank and perhaps I shouldn't have been. Here goes. Good shot of infantry, and that's me down to a single Cromwell. And I can't complain about that. Uh, that was that was walked into that. However, we did get a better result over on this side. Their half track that came in. Oh. Did have a reasonable gun on it. Got the 75 mil on the front, so definitely dangerous, but nice to have taken out and all the crew. And then we'll just try and hopefully mop up the infantry that's in the woods here. But that's uh, that's a blow to lose that Cromwell. But that's what happens when you take risks. So sometimes they do not pay off. Okay, let's uh, reorientate ourselves. So unfortunately, this uh, infantry had to come up to help be a bit of eyes and ears is probably going to find himself up against some automatic German weapons, which is not going to go particularly well for him. That's interesting. We're going to have to check out what's causing that casualty. Yeah, and unfortunately our spotting rounds seem to be quite badly off target. And still a large amount of infantry movement. I'm not the guys are in the woods. I'm not so worried about them because uh, they're, they're not on any of the target areas. I'd like would like to eliminate them, but I don't want to walk my guys into that trouble. Now over here, we've not had any. Um, you don't have any confirmations. You've come under fire from somewhere. Let's let's run this back. 
Now we've been filing these hedges full of uh, brain gun fire from both uh, brain gun detachment as well as a universal carrier. And then we've got lads up against the fences, the, the hedge rows, the bocage. A little bit of shot coming back this way. I'm surprised these guys can't see anything. Hmm, interesting. Unless it's just our own fire is suppressing those gentlemen. I'm not sure. I was expecting, uh, especially these chaps, to see something through the back of this hedgerow. Okay, the only other thing I want to check out was your casualty. Being a hit from. Hmm. Okay, I think it might just be a bit of German fire. We engage with these uh, gentlemen here. At least are running for their lives. That's nice to see. But there's a lot of MG's forty twos in these buildings and these uh, foxholes as well. Okay, causing a little bit of pain. Not really enough and consistent enough to be able to close the gap. Not while they've still got the MGs kicking about. Oh, and what happened to our friend with the Panzer Strike? I'm hoping he went the way of it. That's one less AT ailment to worry about. No chance. Okay, so that's a threat in amongst these buildings somewhere, which we're absolutely going to have to be careful with for our last Cromwell. Alright, good stuff. Well, ish. Could be a lot better. Alright, Grant. Uh, where does that leave us? Well, now we're going to just do mop-up operations over here. Again, I'm going to have to be very conservative with these scout cars. Can uh, now represent a significant element of my remaining armoured force, and this infantry force is pretty weak. So we're going to have to be uh, slowly, slowly as we're trying to push forward. Um, we should be able to mop up the centre and let's see, grab this prisoner and then bring this brain carrier to bear somewhere else. So again, my progress is okay. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably try and advance time a little bit, see if there's anything significant that I'll bring back for it, but otherwise I'll uh, I'll maybe run a couple of minutes off camera. So I'll see you then. It's only the very next minute, but I wanted to bring back to talk about the story of Private Hume here. Uh, this is the, the individual um, pixel tripping who'd come up to support the Cromwell, obviously, term as the Cromwell got destroyed. So as alone here, we know there's a number of German infantry and my thoughts as well, he unfortunately is not very long for this world. As we enter this minute, he initially puts a brave fight. He's managed to get some uh, Germans crawling away from him. So there's a, I guess one infantry and there's one MG position. Whilst under fire, he remains unperturbed despite his shaky morale and just keeps firing. Now, yes, his aim is terrible. And thankfully, he's got a little bit of support coming up, which helps uh, take care of at least one of these gentlemen. But he keeps going, and it, I was amazed by his perseverance. And then next thing you know, well, actually, hello. What's more, he under fire from a house over to his right, and sees some more Germans crawling through the woods. And he's just like, I'll keep going, I'll get stuck in. Finally finds his aim, and takes out one of the Germans, and keeps on plugging away. Now having a duel with a chap in a building. And thankfully his friends have turned up to support him. I just, uh, I, it's these little microcosms of stories I also I find really interesting and you can kind of play around with. But anyway, so not of strategic significance, but uh, I did enjoy the little uh, little story of private humor. There.
apologies for that. I've got the uh, in-laws dogs as well as my own at the minute, so we've got a bit of a pack going on. Uh, four little uh, borders. It tends to be someone had the audacity to deliver a parcel to my house and that set them off. Uh, but there you go. Um, there was a couple of things I want to point out. One is I pushed some Pixtrubin into this house to provide support to my Chrome milk because I was worried about the um, Panzer Shrek that was running around. Um, we ended up in a firefight with some Germans over here and we actually got the better of it so we didn't take any losses and we put two of them under before turning our attention to the uh, Panzer Shrek itself. Unfortunately, I think come to anything, but we're still in a pretty good place, and I've got a brain carrier nearby as well. Just here, who has line of sight onto his house to put in, put some more supporting fire. Uh, I get no sight or sound of anything in this garden. I'm not really sure what's happened. We dashed, we took a casualty. Um, I'm not sure where or who or how or why I should say. Oh, I know why now. Why are you all the way around there? Okay, so I just shot my own guy from my brain carrier. That's what happened. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know what... I mean, what way are you looking, my friend? Seems to be a rifle shot, but we've got quite a lot of... Uh, obviously, people stacked up against this hedgerow and currently seeing a whole lot of nothing. So it's a little bit disconcerting. I will need to recover his brain gun. That is a bit unfortunate. Um, and then the other piece of um, good news, or not, some things going our way, was I was advancing over the open ground here. As I said, I was concerned about this uh, HFG position. I did have a, a target command on our brain carrier. Um, and else he did pop up and we got ourselves into a bit of a firefight. And uh, I actually just caught the very tail end of it there. Thankfully and unexpectedly for troops across open ground engaging HMG position, we actually got the better of it. And uh, where is he? Here he is. You casually set up a tripod. You do. Or maybe we do fight him again later then. There we go, yeah, he set up a tripod. Continuing to engage with the guys in the field as well as the brain carrier. We thankfully don't take any casualties and he goes down. Now there's other people in his team who may take up that mantle. Something for us to be aware. But anyway, I just want to come back. Actually, I really just want to highlight the the story of Hume there. I'm still uh, having issues with the Germans in the woods. They took out the two remaining riflemen I had there, so there is a, a pocket of, uh, I don't know, somewhere between half dozen and ten maybe German infantry hiding in these woods here and generally causing a problem. So I will have to be cognizant of that. Excellent. Right, again, I will make a, an attempt to try and get through time because I'd like to try and uh, trim down the number of episodes per mission, but we shall see. Well, yeah, I'll come back uh, in a couple of minutes or so. Uh, quickly bring you back because my uh, barrage finally came in. So we finally got the fire for effect command at the start of this minute. And the very first that six shells that land take out about 20 mil gun, which means we can now actually remount our um, Cromwell and see what status in there. It's been peppered by 20 mil cannon fire, um, so I'm, it's probably fairly damaged. But we've got a crew nearby. So I'm going to remount it and just see if there's any way we can use some of the firepower and what site they've got. Not particularly hopeful. <laughs> the only other uh, thing worth mentioning is just the frustration of pixel tripping sometimes. So, so you'd known there was a, a HMG nest here, which we'd be moving in on. I've still got a general fire command on the building, but because he's targeting the center and HMGs to the side, I wasn't confident it was doing much in the way of suppression. And I'd push my troops in behind this building wall of relative safety. Until my brain carrier decides what he really wants to do uh, is to crawl out from safety and just hang his head around the corner and just generally lie there. Now that's maybe not the worst position, you know, getting eyes, getting spots. Um, and then he compounds his issues. And as soon as the Germans are spotted, he decides to stand up and then just takes a load of MG fire to the chest. Always brain carries. There's something about holding a brain that seems to make people uh, lose their will. Uh, he goes to ground suppressed, but not knocked out. 
That's probably about the only thing uh, worth mentioning. We'd take out clear out rest of his house without any casualties, uh, and the Panzer Strike team has last seen in this house at the end, so we need to be cognizant of that. Still fighting very much for the centre. Private Hume is still alive, although he, um, he's, uh, he's currently shaking at the minute. He ran away from MG fire, but otherwise we are doing okay. Grant, well, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back next time. There's something to talk about. Okay, we are six minutes further along than we last saw, um, and generally progress has been uh, slow but steady. Um, it's worth knowing actually I'm on a, a different day of recording. I got interrupted uh, during the last session, so I'm now actually a fair few days later. Uh, which on the plus side means I, I didn't notice there was no game sounds in the first 20 minutes, so that's going to be corrected. On the downside, it means that this video is going out much later than planned. Um, we are continuing to push through the, the centre of the, the town here down the main road. Um, I, no real issues. Uh, kind of identifying a few German infantry here and there. Uh, we did uncover the mystery of the, uh, <laughs> the elusive Germans in this uh, garden, and it was in fact an, oh, an HQ, or one last man HQ had moved next door, um, and that's where the gunfire was coming from. We eventually found that out. Unfortunately, we lost the pit stripping, but that's the way it goes. Um, this is probably a, quite a good example of generally how things are going, in terms of uh, moving scouts into forward positions. We then come under fire from uh, German infantry positions, uh, and then we try and respond with both our brain guns and our brain carriers, which have been leaning on quite heavily, uh, as I am wont to do. Uh, and, and invariably, we generally take a few casualties early on after having discovered the Germans, and then as our kind of heavier firepower, more firepower gets into uh, to bear, things start to go wrong. Way you can see we lose it. Our pig strip in there. Unfortunate leader. At least it wasn't brain gunner, I suppose. It's back with more mer mercies. And then eventually. We get the likes of the brain carrier on. They start putting down a lot more firepower. And in this instance, actually, things go very well for us. You see there's two casualties in the first building. And another casualty in the second building there. So that's actually a really good result. Things don't often go that well, a couple of HQ units. So we are getting into the kind of the last bits of their defense. Um, out on this right-hand flank, it's been it's been very bitty, actually. So we managed to break the morale of infantry that had pushed forward um, using our kind of brain carriers, and then they are now disappearing off into the woods, and I'm quite happy just to let them do that. It's not, there's no objectives. Uh, I don't want to go chasing after them. Uh, over here, is, it feels like a bit of a mess. There's just like small remnants of German infantry everywhere. And generally, they don't cause many problems. Uh, every now and again, one of them happens to have a Panzer Shrek and just pops up in the wrong place and, as you see, are knocked out a brain carrier. Uh, I've been thankful that my scout cars have come through unscathed, um, but I just need to be careful navigating through here. I don't think there's much left in the way of combat power, but it's just about not getting surprised. Uh, as I said, this. this bit of the map is worthless as long as we can keep them out of this green box they can sit and hide in these houses all they want now you will see i have managed to push my scout car push them right around this far side into this open area where you could uh, scout a little bit better without risk of being uh, hit with short range at weapons and he's been quite useful in just uh, kind of keeping an, an eye on any routing germans so we're kind of they're definitely broken over here but um they can absolutely cause me problems uh, there's a non German position up here, which we are attempting to deal with through Brain Carrier before we assault it. Um, and we're starting to see what is as the HQ element. Meanwhile, we have identified this another, uh, well, there's 20mm uh, flak guns in this trench system in the very centre of the map here. He took a few pot shots at my scout carrier as it was moving, managed to score some penetrating hits, but has done no damage, thankfully. Um, our last remaining uh, Cromwell is in the centre here, leaning, uh, attempting to help get a position of the on this houses completely out of he so he's reliant mainly on the 7.92 millimeter cannon at the minute or machine gun i should say just to try and suppress elements in this building i'm having a real tough time in actually pushing in on here um we got a, a, set, a section fairly close actually these three chaps four chaps um i think last you saw might have been just here as we lost the brain carrier uh, unfortunately we had the hmg suppressed but there was another small infantry section just hiding on the ground floor of this story and just uh, the officer holds him down an mp4 just one short burst three dead picks so that was pretty uh, pretty upsetting uh which is one reason we moved this tank over but even then um we've we'll probably see 
Oh, no, they didn't lose anyone, they just ran away. So last time I tried to push the two section, which do have morale issues, up, uh, despite constant fire from a brain carrier, the, every now and again the machine gun position just seems to quite happily spot my infantry and open up upon them. So it's, it's been a bit of a chew. Uh, we have inflicted the odd casualty, but I don't know if it's if we've killed everyone in there, because it also only takes one to sit in front of the machine gun. And then on the left-hand flank, not a lot going on, to be honest. The Germans did do a bit of artillery barrage, which is why some of my units have backed off with a few casualties, uh, but generally we're just kind of holding position and, and area firing the houses. I have called down the last of my howitzers on this area, uh, but I only did that about the 18 minute mark, um, which I should have done sooner, but uh, it only occurred to me later on, so that's going to hit about the 7 minute mark, um, and I'll hopefully just break any resistance that's left. The Cromwell is up and running on this left hand flank, so I've got the crew back in him. Has suffered quite a lot of external damage from the battering it took from the 20mm cannon. Uh, so radio, optics, uh, external machine gun, all knackered. The main gun actually works fine. Uh, only problem being I don't have a loader, so they can't use it, which is a bit frustrating. Um, you kind of hope to maybe the driver and gunner could uh, you know, slowly uh, you know, move positions, reload them, and move back with the... But no, no, no fire at all, not even at a lower rate. It does say the Coaxial machine gun is working, but again, um, I'm not able to use that at the minute. If you go to commands, you see can't use any of the targeting commands. So, not really of much use, but at least the tank survived. And that's kind of, of where we've got to. Uh, the general plan, again, is just to bring up the remnants of my infantry forces. Again, try and push through this central area, uh, clear it out and then leave just this objective for the last kind of five minutes or so and hopefully either I don't know, outright break the Germans or after the artillery barrage we'll, we'll push through. And that's kind of what we said. When we'll come and we'll do a, a live minute, we'll see what happens. And I might take another, another short break. You'll see there you go, it's a good example. Closer. Whereas we'll just every now and again spot a bit of a leftover of a German team. Here's at ah, this will be the Panzerschreck team that uh, put a hole in my Bren carrier. Uh, that's not the man with the Panzerschreck. Hopefully our, our picks room can get the better of him. It's quite frustrating just trying to slowly make our way through here. Always at risk of running into the, uh, you know, an MG42 and hitting the and taking casualties. My words right. And I'm reluctant to be too aggressive with my scout cars um, because Panzer Shrek's Panzer Faust, lots of AT weapons floating around, and I you know, have suffered losses already. But I feel okay for the time left for what we've got to do. Again, it's just going, going to be maximizing our, our forward momentum without uh, taking any more casualties, which is easier said than done. We're just trying to push forward with any little infantry uh, scout kind of teams that we have. And then but the premise being we can uh, identify German positions without taking too many heavy casualties, which is lovely in theory, somewhat fails in practice. Uh, now going to try and push forward with these guys. Hopefully the infantry in this building are suppressed. It's the best way to do it with a unit where you're going to run the sensible mana. I think I'm just going to try and get you pushed into level 1 here. Um, and just hope that my brain carrier here is doing a very good job of getting them to keep your heads down. Or I will lose a couple more pixel tribbin, which is not ideal. Start moving you gentleman up as well. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do is going to probably put another cut in there. Uh, welcome back if anything particularly interesting happens, but I am keen to try and wrap up the scenario. Um, but as it, as it stands, you know, slow, steady progress and that's generally the order of the day. So yeah, I'll come back. I'll check in, in you know, nothing happens at least five minutes, but uh, if anything exciting should occur, I'll let you guys know. Thought I'll uh, bring you guys back for this a couple minutes further down the line, and we're making finally making an assault on this building in the center, which had the uh, two HMGs in it, which had been causing me a lot of hassle, as you see by the dead infantry runes strewn on the lead up. We're utilizing uh, Bren Carrier and uh, Cromwell support to take out the team. And as we get in, 
two things are apparent. You can see most of the team in this building are indeed dead. I think there's, there's one chap carrying the corner. But um, we find another layer of German infantry behind. So initially this uh, gentleman clears the room for himself, which is good. And nice to see there's... Where, we can rest the action. This is what happens. Every time we kill the gunner, they would go to the ground, stack up, and then someone else would open fire, and then we would manage to kill him. So finally, the one remaining gentleman has surrendered, which is nice. So this, at least we know this isn't a threat. Um, unfortunately, this grouping very much is. And then we have a bit of a firefight, which we do get a little bit of a better of. You see, we get a German casualty there. I do not know what caused that explosion. I've actually checked a few times. I can't for my life work out. Could be a grenade, could be someone using an AT weapon to attack a building. Either way, it kills uh, our infantrymen here and spooks these two and they run away. We are going to have to return. But that's not the worst outcome. Uh, we can absolutely use our brain carry here to come around and try and do some support fire in this building. I'm conscious that it's quite a short range, so we will have to. Uh, maybe take a, well, I was gonna say take a wider look, but that might open us up to this 20 mil. Um, but this could be a, a precarious situation for our brain carrier. But we've not seen any other contacts uh, apart from HQ units at the back here, so it's certainly one we could uh, we could deal with. We don't really have the infantry strength. Everyone's running away now uh, to deal with just pushing in a whole bunch of infantry with, with uh, a big. Too many casualties. Our, our, our most healthy infantry is kind of all hanging out over here, uh, and we've got a little bit kind of coming up as a, as a reserve. But this middle uh, kind of platoon that was tasked with securing this avenue is uh, is pretty bloodied. Uh, but I thought that was interesting uh, and shows at least we know those positions are and shows some of the, the difficulties we've, we've dealt with. Uh, meanwhile, I, I was coming an assault on this building. Our brave HQ team unfortunately didn't make it. They, we did see, I think there was one dead German upstairs and one one way downstairs, so I have brought in some uh, reserves. They'll, they're going to push into the bottom of the building at next turn. And over on this side, we've continued just to uh, shoot up all the infantrymen we can find. And we're just about happy we've cleared out the last holdouts here, although I'm, I'm uh, convinced there's a couple of Germans left in these buildings, but I'm just going to leave them there, to be perfectly honest. Okay, and that's where things are at the minute. So, uh, again, I'll... I'll Put another cut in, bring back if we get some, some interesting. Uh, and yeah, I think we have to rely on Brain Carrier to do some work here, or perhaps uh, maybe Cromwell in the woods as well might be able to get some an angle on this building. Um, I think he might be able to do it now. Let's check over here. Uh, you I mean you've got? Uh, yeah, okay, that worked actually. Yeah, please shoot that thing. Uh, not that I have any infantry who's in any way, shape, or form able to make the most of that. Yeah. <laughs> These two gentlemen here. I'm really thin on the ground. This is uh this is proving difficult. Okay, but we can we're gonna put some fire on there anyway, hopefully try and break them and again I'm just gonna try and get a foothold in here with my infantry. So what I'm gonna do is try and secure this flank so I can then uh be a bit more you know essentially push my chromal tank up to here and then take care of this Done. Okay, good. Right, anyway, I'll put more cuts in, bring you back uh, as and when. Well, yeah, and depending on how this assault goes, if there's someone left alive and it's interesting, I'll bring you back. If we just walk in, it's empty house. I'll just keep asking. Okay, see you shortly. Uh, so the house wasn't quite empty. So we'll see as the brave Tommies come charge again. And I, I, see, I feel bad, he was just doing a little bit of Medicaid, which actually worked out well for us because he had an MP40. Uh, but he goes down, and that is the end of that. However, and, and as you may have seen from the indication over there, that's not the big eventful thing I want to bring over. Um, so this, so obviously, scout car had been mooring around in the German back lines, had been sat here for a couple of minutes, just doing a little bit of area fire on some, some sector positions, um, and then all of a sudden, yeah, we get a visit from a Panzer first, and that's it really. And then they bail out. So that's we lost a second of the three scout cars. Uh, and that's what I mean about this area, where it was just it was just small amounts of German infantry kind of moving around. I don't think there's, I think it's probably a remnant of a section which has fallen back from somewhere else, and they've just happened to uh, come in behind the building. 
where else I'm flying. And uh, that's a risk of having an exposed uh, vehicle, but you know, it's a bit frustrating nonetheless. Um, we did finally, finally find that Panzer Shrek team that caused a bit of problems. We're just kind of hunting along with our infantry here. Uh, again, trying to provide a little bit of support for our last remaining scout car, and let's see if we can take care of those without too much issue. So that's that's where we're up to. Generally going okay. Every now and again, a bit of a problem. But I think we're well on the way to victory. I think, uh, and, and I know luckily in this campaign I'm not using this same formation again because I've probably taken far too high losses here, to be perfectly honest. But that's the way of it. Uh, good. Right, okay, I just wanted to show you back with those two. We're going to keep going uh, again. I'm going to keep kind of clearing house to house along here just as we work our, in, uh, our way uh, through, getting towards that kind of last however many minutes uh, when our mortar barrage is going to fall. So I'll bring you back for that. Right, we're now at the nine minute mark. Um, um, as you see, we've continued to push in through the center of the kind of town and, and secure and kind of link up our center and our right hand efforts and and push all the way through to the back. Uh, with with some uh, middling success, uh, we have unfortunately lost uh, the last of our or not last, another one of our brain cars on this side. There's a, a keyhole position through to the twenty millimeter that just caught us out. Um, and as he actually took out uh, one of the infantry as he was crossing the road as well. However, we have discovered, and in quite fortuitously so, uh, a German AT position nestled in amongst this uh, wooded area. Wooded area, handful of trees. Um, and just spotted at the end of the last turn, and actually it was our one of our units who spotted it and managed to inflict a casualty as well. So that's quite handy that we've we've managed to find this with our infantry and not with our vehicles, which are ever uh, ever so often in, in short supply these days. So I'm happy we've kind of got a, a good foothold here uh, and we'll have to use it to try and uh, go to clear up his AT position and potentially try and clear up his 20 mil position as well because he is uh, continually causing me problems. Um, I see I've pushed in pretty much everything that was on this right hand flank. Uh, I see I've got a couple of infantry units just acting as kind of sentries more than anything else and occasionally now we, we spot a German wandering about and shoot him. So uh, that's not too bad. Um, I am continually failing to break into this position here. Um, the, the German gentleman is still surrendered, so that's not a threat, but as you see, the latest team we put in decided to give up, and I don't really know why. We are, I don't, well, I know why the morale's broken, but we are in, inflicting a reasonable amount of damage upon the German un units that are here. We've got support from our uh, Churchill, who's continually firing um, machine gun ammo into the lower building, but we're really struggling to get that to stick, so I'm um, tempted to grab and go on a section over here um, and to try and work the way and the difficulty we have is there's still a machine gun position here nestled in this corner and of course there's a 20mm cannon in the middle so I don't want to get them hosed down as they try and maneuver themselves into uh, into position to support. Um, I have started ferrying some of the infantry on the left hand side just into this little wooded area again to try and open up an avenue for a final assault once our artillery hits in a couple of minutes. Uh, I suppose I will stick for one Live and we'll see how it goes, and then um, uh, maybe come back a couple minutes after that when our artillery starts falling. But it's we are getting there. The morale of the troops, I think, is a struggle at the minute. Um, they, they just a lot more kind of come under fire. I mean, get a bit frightened in the way, which, while understandable, we lost that 80 gun position. Do it appear so? Uh, while understandable, is somewhat frustrating. We need to shovel some people further around to get eyes again back on that. We're going to want to take that out sooner rather than later. Probably useful as you try and get into the position, maybe into these houses, which may unlock our ability to just to engage the 20 mil with small arms fire. Because the crew are exposed. Yeah, it's just a, a seat at the side of it. We can absolutely take them out. Okay, it looks like we're holding this position relatively well. I've got some back up there. And I'll just not, but the less we say about that, the better. Okay. So, slowly, steadily, more casualties than I like, but we are making progress. So I'll maybe come back a couple minutes when we start seeing our heavy infantry do the job. Alright, another few minutes down the line, and we found a significant number of Germans hiding out in this little house, which I have been hoping to clear through. Uh, we've got quite a lot of firebase of our own, and we're just kind of 
chewing our way through them. It seems to be remnants of a few squads that have uh, retreated to this position. Uh, oh, that was quite nice. Um, and so we're starting to inflict casualties and hopefully make them break. We do have three or four sections. Four sections, though not all healthy, in this kind of general area as we try and push through. That is fine. Um, the 80 gun is still there. We have got eyeballs on it, although it's um, still active. The crew's dead. The 20 mm cannon is still doing its thing, but we actually we're using it to its own little keyhole against it now. Um, and I'm using this two-inch mortar to try and uh, try and take out the range. It's a reasonable distance. I don't know how effective they're going to be. Meanwhile, you'll see uh, a few explosions from our howitzers. They seem to be entirely off target at the minute, which is a bit uh, disappointing. I'm now getting a little bit concerned about uh, time. Uh, and we may not get through to the, the end that we want. We'll see, we'll see how this 2-inch more is. And we don't have a perfect spot, but I'm hopefully anything nearby can do enough to take it out. So if we can take out the 20 mil and the AT gun, then that gives us a nice freedom of movement for the rest of the remainder of our scout car. Meanwhile, our section should just be about in place over here. Beautiful. And your job, gentlemen, will be to move in. And I'm not too concerned about doing... Assault moves, um, minus nine, only Germans can fire the spot, I believe, are there. This should be fine, and we just have to hope that we're keeping them suppressed. They're not using enough ammunition. Um, I think we're moving a couple of sections just forward and around the flank. We need to try and get into a position where we can move in on this final objective, but we're a little bit waiting on our uh, artillery at the minute. It could cause us problems if it's significantly delayed. That's kind of where we are. Why don't we? Well, we can see. We're going to see, maybe see if our two-inch mortars managed to get on target at all. Admittedly, they're kind of firing a little bit blind. And uh, meanwhile, he is kind of picking on a rifle we've got here with the bar gun. Oh, that was very long. But I'll let my tension more to the thing. Feeling that we, again, we'll try and maybe stack up some infantry here to overwhelm the, the position. Uh, I'm not sure if it's our artillery or their artillery. If it's ours, it's miles off target. Do you have. You got still got 8 HE left. I think that was our own uh, P it there we had launched. Okay. Oh, what's happened over here? No, don't tell me you've all given up. We have moved into this position. Okay, come under fire from the gentleman next door. We all seem to be firing over in this direction. Okay. Fair to say that's gone particularly badly. Oh, he's right there. That's the, that's who you're aiming at. We are just not getting away with it, despite the fact that you are still you're out of, you're out of, uh, of everything. You have no ammo for anything useful. Okay. Well, that explains that. Yeah, I'm now I'm now not sure we're going to get the job done. Three gentlemen left there, we'll leave that on the go. And I think we're, we might have to give up in that position. This is uh, turning somewhat unfortunate. I'll have to see if we can get some additional fire support potentially from these woods and onto this building and suppress those. Uh, each elements. Oh, well, this is German, and that was our fire for effect there on that house. Oh, hang on. 
that looked very good. Excellent. Don't know exactly what damage that's done, but I mean that was close enough. You'd like to think that can uh, take out the crew, if not the gun itself. Pinch more doing a good bit of work there. I'll have to wait and see what the actual end result is. Those means are yeah. Uh, no, he's retreated downstairs. I'll put him upstairs again. He should be able to get eyes on that. We can see what the damage is. Okay. Uh, I'll just quickly move you up to level 2. I can't really push in much further anywhere. What's left of this gun? He's still alive and kicking, which is unfortunate. Um, and we need confirmation that gun's out of place before we can do more with our scout car. We could perhaps uh, get it in a better position. So I'm going to move you... Actually, I want to move you around this way. And I'm going to grab some of you gentlemen. A few gentlemen, please. Uh, we jump into this barn just to make sure there's no infantry lurking. Where I lost my other scout car. Meanwhile, oh. Looks like we've uh, woken up. There's horrendous casualties everywhere. I might leave them uh, where they are in order to do some body aid and also maybe not expose them to as much fire, but that's... That is something. A lot of dead British is that, but that, it, to be honest, is what it is. Uh, okay. This has been a much tougher chew to break through the defence here than I was anticipating. Fairly ineffectual German fire, which I'm pleased about. Where's mine? There we go. Ooh, a bit, a bit danger close. And kind of off target, to be honest. Yep, I'm just shelling my own men. Somewhat unfortunate, but these are at least good hits on this outside building. We should have to push across this gap take these buildings. Well, that is uh, unfortunate. Inflicting my own characters here. Okie dokie. Right, we'll do a quick check of orders uh, and then we'll maybe come back. Okay, let's play through the last couple minutes. Although these for me may be added time. And these are better strikes. Tell me that it's probably one of taken out if there's any Germans in here, they're probably still in the neck, but at least we should have taken out one to the edge. Although at this rate I'm not convinced we haven't caused ourselves more casualties than we've inflicted. Okay, last minute. Means we are. Uh, that is rounds complete. Hopefully, that's the last salvo in. Because we are going to have to try and, with our battered and bloodied and pretty nervous people, see if we can't make a break for this position. And uh, there's an element of uh, recklessness coming in at the minute, I think. I'm just trying to concentrate uh, flow through a position where I know we're not going to get so much uh, supporting fire from the other uh, buildings. So 
but we'll see. This, this is just because I need to get into the objective before the time runs out, to be perfectly honest. So we are contesting Ak and Bojerom. We haven't secured either of them, unfortunately. We have got the rest of the objective, so we shall see. I think this is, from what was a once a bullish position about a total victory, I think we're going to come down to perhaps a tactical win. Need this barrage to stop. Good. Also, I've not any eyes on this, which is a bit frustrating, but it's the way it goes sometimes. And there's gunfire and all sorts over this direction. Last desperate gamble. Oh, it's not a complete c catastrophe, which I think is a good start. Please stop hanging around where you can be shot, gentlemen. Minor victory. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take it. That was... Uh, that was... was. I, th I thought we were going to do much better in the end than we actually did. Alright, let's have a look at the map. Well, let's have the numbers first. So we have 185 men left. They've only got 72. We've lost 222. They've lost 230. So fairly, fairly even Stevens, they've lost the three tanks, we lost one, yes, on damage, and we lost a whole bunch of brain carriers. Let's have a quick look at the map, what do they have left? So we did have some riflemen, so actually not too much defending this, we would have pushed that out sooner rather than later, that's not too much of a problem. Uh, oh, they did have another AT gun tucked away in here, okay, that will have been what the explosion as this building was. And then just, yeah, some drivers. Another driver. Ugh, we didn't knock this out in the end. Casualties, but no, the, the gun was still operational. Fine. Like machine gun team. Some HQ units, but we were kind of picking on, and these guys were dead. Ah, uh, that's not too bad. Oh yeah, interesting to see what was over here, actually. There was uh, a handful of people. Yeah, no one of particular interest. We just got bogged down too quickly in uh, in trying to close out the last bit. Losing eleven casualties, that was uh, pretty brutal. Okay, ten from a scout team there, uh, one three in a blitz. Reasonable. How did uh, how did you get on? Twenty one enemy casualties there from our. Scout car, that's pretty phenomenal. And uh, you, you caused 18 in the end, that's pretty healthy. This Cromwell, just one casualty, didn't do very much. You, five for you, a ah, few bits and pieces. Um, so I think uh, I'm a bit frustrated the way it's ending because the first set, oh, hello, the first part of the mission went very well. Oh, another one there. Hmm. Uh, I think morning through the woods, we did get a little bogged down. Um, on the route, but I think we, we resolved that very well. I was very, very happy with attacking the Chateau. Uh, I think that went phenomenally well, and we used leverage our scout cars uh, effectively. And then I just, I think I really underestimated the scale of the defense that was going to be in the in the, in the the town. Uh, and we got bogged down a little bit, I think, because the forces got, well, a large chunk of my forces ended up getting held up on this flank. You know, I've got a couple of sections here which were damaged because of a mortar barrage, uh, artillery barrage, sorry. Um, but we weren't able to use. Had we not taken that random Panzerfaust to the side of this Cromwell, uh, we would be able to use his offense firepower to clear out this area much sooner, and then we were able to build push in with our uh, infantry wing and threaten this position in the middle. And yeah, I mean, I think in the middle, I, I just failed to. I needed to I think, stop and regroup my infantry a bit more than I did before pushing in. I think we went forward to to a bit kind of piecemeal because I wasn't expecting the level of resistance we got.
Also, I have to acknowledge that I, I, this is, mission has been played out over a horrendously long time real life, um, and I think that's had a bit of an effect. I think it was early October I started recording this, so it's been um, it's been a bit long drawn out, and I don't think that's um, helped with the quality of my kind of gameplay towards the end. But there we go, well done. Uh, we'll move on to the next one in the campaign. Uh, but obviously, it might, might be a couple of weeks before we cover that. Uh, thanks for sticking me w with me for this one. I don't think it's been my uh, my finest hour in terms of uh, strategical outcome, but it was at least a win. So we'll take that, take a feather and a cap, and we will push on. Um, yeah, so we didn't get act winning wise Roman knew about. We, oh, we had points for killing people, apparently. Fair enough. Uh, presumably, those are the Panzers, I think. Um, they didn't hold any objectives, they got some points for casualties and that was about it. Okay, alright, we'll end it there, thanks very much and I'll catch you next time.